40s for the most part. Uh, Yesterday was nice, a little uh, taste of spring. Hopefully this trend continues, Michelle. Yeah, another nice day lined up for today. We've got dry skies back again for the daylight hours. Had a couple of passing showers yeah. as we expected earlier in the night. Those are now offshore. We're back to dry conditions on our live radar. Temperatures this morning have dipped into the 30s in north and western Rhode Island. So Glendale right now at 35, Coventry in the middle 30s. And that's where we're starting off our day in Richmond. Even Narragansett this morning in the 30s, Providence still near 40 degrees and New Bedford showing off those dry conditions here along the coastline this morning. Another winner going to lead our three key things back to mostly sunny skies, mild and dry conditions. Shower chances still timing them out for tomorrow afternoon and Saturday with uh, some cooler weather for the upcoming weekend. We're marking spring beginning as we uh, look towards Sunday live radar dry this morning. Again, we're looking at uh, lingering clouds around this morning, especially eastern Massachusetts clearing out temperatures warming up. So by 8 a.m. around 41 by 10 a.m. around 49 and at noon today we're in the middle 50s. We'll stay in the middle 50s along the coastline, but inland spots going to keep on climbing about 50 to 55 for shoreline communities with winds turning to the southeast in the afternoon at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That Springfield continues. How about these temperatures once again, upper 40s, about 10 degrees degrees uh, upper 50s rather about 10 degrees above average in Coventry and West Warwick close to that 60 degree mark again in Providence and middle and upper 50s away from the immediate shore in southeastern Massachusetts get down to the water in Dartmouth and Westport and you're going to be around the lower to middle 50s tonight increasing clouds temperatures dropping to the upper 30s it's dry during the night and it's dry for the morning commute tomorrow but eventually we are going to be tracking some rain moving in at low of about 39 degrees that's why not the view and we'll show you what we have that we're monitoring this morning. Area of low pressure going to be passing to the south and east of us. This little weak little low that brought the showers last night moving out. High pressure is going to bring us dry weather today, but let's time out the arrival of the showers for your Thursday. So again, St. Patrick's Day morning starting off dry. Then the green comes in in the afternoon. Some light showers arriving along the coastline. This is around two o'clock in the afternoon, then trying to spread inland. These are light initially, but turning a little steadier and even potentially heavier, especially near the coastline later in the evening and during the nighttime hours before that clears out. And we're still on track to have a dry and warm day on Friday. Those high temperatures Friday afternoon up near 70. Now with the showers on Thursday, it is going to be cooler right around the middle 50s for high temperatures with Maybe some indoor activities planned if you're celebrating Thursday afternoon and evening. And again, those Friday temperatures going to be soaring upper 60s to lower 70s inland and a little bit cooler, closer to 60 degrees at the coast. Fortunately, another day of rainy conditions on Saturday, about a half an inch to an inch of rain expected. And we're looking at mainly cloudy skies on Sunday. Some of our computer models even have an isolated shower first half of the day on Sunday with those temperatures in the lower 50s.